Okay, so forget the differences between dog and cat people. There are also disparities between iPhone and Android users. According to a new study by online company Slick Deals, those using Apple's smartphone are 27% more likely to say they are very happy with their lives. Joining us right now is the cyber guy, Kirk Knudsen. Kirk, good to see you. Okay, so first things hey, first. Hey, good to see you, Maria. You know, I'm, are you yeah, an I'm iPhone very or happy an Android this, guy? But I I'm both. I am both, but now I'm embarrassed to pick up my Android now I'm phone. Confused. I confused. I now have a complex, right? Uh, but what, what about these figures? Incredible, incredible. A thousand people being asked on the uh, Android side, and then they asked a thousand iPhone owners all sorts of things, not just a happy quotient. And by the way, are you happy with your job? 33% of those with an iPhone said, yeah, I am. And only, what was it, 20, 22, 20% uh, with an Android to say that they're actually happy with their job. Spending, pretty incredible in terms of, uh, like, Maria, I'm assuming you have uh, an iPhone just because you look dynamite all the time. Spending on clothing, $117 <laughs> versus versus uh, really just $62 for Android users. The same in the makeup and beauty category. Uh, and also when it comes to tech, pretty incredible spending differences here. Wow. So clearly, if you own an Android, you may not be the life of the party, but you're going to be the smart, frugal one for the long haul, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing out of this whole story. Uh, what do you think about this, Mitch? Well, I'm trying to, Kurt, so what influences the decision to buy one versus the other? How much of it is personal choice? How much of it is what companies will uh, reimburse for? But what's really influencing this? I'm trying to figure, get behind these numbers and figure out whether or not this would be our next study, here. right, Mitch? Yeah. Right? That's what we have to do that with that one. The fact is, though, people uh, that buy an iPhone clearly are a different kind of person than someone who's buying an Android device at this point. And this study right here, albeit 2,000 people being sampled, still is pretty telling about, uh, you know, symbolically what these phones mean in our lives. The amount of time we're spending on them also, people with an iPhone apparently spending five hours a day plus a little bit more than an Android, and then the figures on that, 58 tweets on average from an iPhone user versus just down into the 20s for someone on an Android. And uh, so people with an iPhone also, 12 selfies a day is the average, <laughs> only five selfies a day if you've got an Android. So are you happier so are they if you less take more selfies? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that, is that, that, does that have to do the with the question. camera or the selfie? I mean, yeah. the picture that you're taking. Oh, right, or your skill set and being able to take the picture. I don't know. <laughs> you think like, I think I, it's interesting to take a look at it. It's fun information. And uh, yet again, Apple's selling phones like crazy with their three introduced phones but, this quarter. I mean, already. it's a really fun study, but 2,000 is a significant sample. I mean, that would be, that would be a, a really good poll. So I, I am, uh, is, is there anything in there about voter preference? Or are we more likely to be Republican or Democrat? <laughs> Not in this on? particular study, but that would I be think, an interesting one. That's one you could do. I know, right? I'm fascinated by brand identity <laughs> and politics. Right it seems to be getting more and more, you know, if you, 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 you double down on those kinds of things. Me, meanwhile, Kurt, Apple's ho hosting another event in Brooklyn uh, after the unveiling of its uh, new iPhones last month. They're reportedly expected to reveal what's next for the iPad. What do you think about uh, what we'll hear? Yeah, you're right. I think, uh, you know, very interesting. So away from Cupertino, now we're on the East Coast. We're at a creation kind of location, the Brooklyn Academy of Music. And it's all about using words about the making. So I think what we're going to see is on the hardware side, we're going to see two refreshes of an iPad Pro, edge-to-edge -edge screens, maybe a new uh, MacBook Air, and then something big coming that Reed Hastings at Netflix may want to keep his eye on. Oh, okay. We'll watch that. That, that makes me happy. Kurt, thank you. <laughs> Kurt Knudsen joining us there.